and go. <laughs> okay, so what we're doing right now, uh, this is the battery tray. It holds, holds our big battery for the bus, the one that's for the bus itself. Uh, that battery is probably three times the size of a car battery. Big, heavy. Uh, we took it out. We're cleaning it up, grinding it down, got all the rust off it. Then we're going to spray it. And then we're going to put it back. We're also... This piece here used to be here. We cut it out because as you can see, it was rusted through. So we're going to put a piece of flat steel in there with a small piece of angle just to give it some rigidity and to replace it. We'll put it in there, weld it in place, bondo it up, make it look party again. That's what we're doing. Working on the battery box for the bus. Kind of makes a noise. There you go, That sandblaster, it's like 30 bucks on Amazon. Damn, that works good. Uh, but I'm not wearing all the safety gear I should be wearing. Uh, so if you do this at home the way I do it, uh, make sure you're on first name basis with the ER nurse. Or your optometrist is on a speed dial. Here you see us where we ran two of the wires from the batteries. You had the larger cables, which are the 2 aught and the 4 aught, the big ones. Those run to the engine underneath. And then you have these smaller ones. These are uh, like 6 gauge or 4 gauge wires. They're running up here. We ran them, just punched some holes through the floor. They. This is where we're going to have our electrical panels for everything inside the bus. This is bringing in of our, our uh, DC power from the, from the battery, from the bus's battery. Those are single pole stud connectors. We're just connecting those so we can uh, tap in to charge and sometimes use the battery. That's it. If you remember underneath the driver's side seat where the there used to be a box that we moved all the components up into the electrical panel outside the driver's window. This is the the four smaller wires that were in that box uh, were just uh, putting the connections on and heat shrinking them. And they're also color coded so we could remember which one was which. Uh, so we're just adjusting the length and getting them all lined up during this process here. <laughs> Charlie, I love working with you. If you, ain't, if you ain't making mistakes, you ain't having fun, you just ain't doing it right. It's not like we don't make mistakes too. We're all making mistakes. It's just reality. That's why they call us human. We human. Okay. Now I do need. Yeah, most of the stuff we found on Amazon. Uh, this is the finalizing, getting those four terminals connected. Those are ring connectors, um, and we're just putting them on those th those a four bus bar. This is the what I what we did earlier. We're running that uh, the wire through the inside of the bus. We had to continue it so it could do its its primary job, which was still feed uh, the bus itself what it needed. The temperature is starting to drop. Oh, in Florida, evidently, at least in this county. You can't buy beer on Sunday until after two, as they just told us. I'm living in Florida, but I don't know. I guess I don't buy enough booze. I went today to buy it on Sunday, which I guess is unusual for me. Uh, 
because I didn't know that. I think it was like 11 or maybe 12, maybe. You know, it's one of those things where it's like the lights in the beer area are on, so it's like, hey, you can buy it. They were on. Evidently, no, you can't. <laughs> I don't know. I'm waiting on pops. That's me texting. No, I'm not texting. I'm actually taking pictures of things. I like to take pictures of a lot of the connections and things like that. So I uh, don't lose track of where I'm at. Because as you get older, yeah. Uh, yeah, I forget my foot if it wasn't attached. Among many other things. Uh, just finalizing some more of this. This whole right side of the panel there <clears throat> is that underbox. The box that was underneath. Um, the one that rotted away in an earlier video. So all of that stuff you're seeing on the right side of that big bundle of wires in the middle is all the stuff that was down there. And we're just moving it around. Over time, that whole area, that silver area to the right, it actually fills up, especially when you bring in the, uh, the big 2-watt wires. This is these grounds, these neutrals, right here. There's two of them. They go here on this black terminal. Brains of the operation. And we in big trouble. <laughs> Can you solder in those too? No, 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 no. These are not soldered. Okay. Um, I, I don't think they make these kind of ends that are soldered. It's the the butt connectors when they connect two wires together. Okay. Um, I don't think they make these ones that way. But they are heat shrink. Uh -huh. And this heat shrink has an adhesive on the inside. Right. So once it gets down and not only shrinks, it also has like basically a glue. So it's not going to want to let go of that wire. Okay. Which is good because I don't want it to. Right. reason I'm putting the piece on this one, um, not because I'm marking it. The other ones I was marking them. Uh -huh. This one is because uh, I, uh, I damaged the, the casing or the protective cover, the insulation uh -huh. part, right there. Right. So I'm just basically putting some new insulation on it. Didn't damage it a lot, but I'm not taking the chance. Yeah. I don't see a need. That thing cost me less than a penny. Yeah. So. whatever color you want to call that but uh underneath they're orange so in the old picture that they were orange but i don't have any orange wire so i'm using this one um, <laughs> deal with it okay just want to make sure that that will work it will Let's just put that back in there a little bit so we don't lose anything because i have a habit of losing these things especially with my fat fingers here one connects there 
and in reality it doesn't matter which one it is. So all they're doing is telling the computer if this fails. That's pretty much what those are doing. But I'm pretty sure you'll know if it fails. Uh, it's the battery box. This is the, the bus's battery itself, uh, connecting the, all of the thing, the little fasteners that have put it back on the battery. Um, that is the uh, OT2. That's going to connect the positive to the battery. Just a standard battery connector I got at uh, one of the auto places. Uh, <clears throat> this we got off of Amazon. It's like $20, $22, something like that. This is a, uh, a lug connector. It's a hammer crimper uh, for those bigger wires. Like this is like a, I think this is a two gauge or not two, yeah, two gauge, I think. And you just put it in there, line it up, and then smack the schmuck out of it. Um, you gotta, you gotta hit it and keep hitting it basically until it, uh, it gets nice and tight and snug. Then we took everything and started reconnecting it. Now. The way you're seeing it all lined up and all kind of messy, this is a, kind of a temporary thing. We actually realign everything so we can close it completely. Captain, you have to say engage. Mr. Sulu. Is it Sulu? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's Sulu. Chekhov. Mr. Chekhov. One or the other. Yeah. I yeah. Think they both did both it. of you, do something. <laughs> engage. <laughs> Maybe. That's not a good sound. Gotta have a wire. Okay. To be continued. You can turn it off. Okay, so this is basically some 12 gauge stranded wire, THHN, whatever it is. Um, I made a tester so I could test great distances. There's like, I don't know, 25, 30 feet there, maybe more. Um, so I could test power between multiple leads. So I could put this at one end and then carry this to the other end of a wire and then attach my little tester to see if it was the same wire. It's a continuity test, uh, but you still have to have the multimeter to do it. But this basically let me connect to an in, another wire at the other end of the bus. We're going to use it as a very temporary jumper to see if we got some of our uh, wiring done right. So, if this works, then we know we need to put a permanent wire in this location. So that's what we're doing. Now we see what happens. Arcs and sparks, baby. Arcs and sparks. This is the worst case scenario. Nothing. Okay, here's the deal. It wouldn't start. I know I'm out of focus. I'm sorry. How about that? I don't know. Anyway, it wouldn't start. And we got all the wires we thought, pretty thought they were right. What we ended up doing ultimately is going into the little fuse panel, which I'll show you in here in a little in another clip. There was so much corrosion in that thing that we just started pulling fuses and putting new fuses in and moving the wires. We're gonna have to replace that whole little fuse box, but not today. Um, we're just gonna start checking all the lights now and things like that. Eh, a little boring for you to see, but you get the idea. But you can hear the engine. So we got it running. Um, it was a little nerve-wracking at first, but it's because the, the fuse box is so corroded um, that we're just going to have to replace it, which means there's moisture coming in underneath where the driver's feet is. That's kind of crummy. We're also going to look into fixing that problem too. So that's where we're at. I'm going to turn this off because we're just going to let this charge for the next whatever. It hasn't been running for a while. So bicycle! We're happy. Well, my nerdy friends, uh, that was pretty much the finalizing the under box that was all rotted out, getting it connected. Uh, the next video will be something about space travel. I'm pretty certain we're working on our trip to Pluto. Uh, oh, uh, never mind, she's giving me that look. Okay. Uh, okay, stay nerdy, my friends. Keep it between the lines, stay safe, and always, always uh, practice safe video gaming.